So hello everybody and welcome to another Charticular video. Sorry that it's been a while, but crazy will work. Anyhow, we are going to do IBCS charts using Charticulator, so let's get started. So for those of you that do not know what IBCS stands for, it's International Business Communication Standards. And they have basically set a set of standards for how business charts could look like. The idea is that if they look the same, people will be able to read it faster. So um, reduce the, the creativity in order to get clarity, which is nothing wrong with that. They have a special look and feel to them. So if you Google it, you'll see that they you can recognize when it's an IBCS standard. And the, for Power BI, there are actually custom visuals that do this, but you can now with Charticulator do it too. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. This is what we're going to do. So we are going to create this, which is very common. Here you have um, current year. I don't have the labels. You have to put the labels. <laughs> so you have car current year, no, actual target, and then we have the variance up here. And here we have the same, but just in one chart target, actual, and variance. Again, you have to put labels. Sorry, I haven't done it. But you want to know how to do it? Let's, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. So we're going to start with a blank page. We're going to put um, the actual, the target, and the year period. Okay. And that always as a table to see how the data looks like. You can see that there's only targets for the uh, last years. There's nothing in, in the beginning. So we will need to manage that. And uh, let's start building. Download Charticulator. Hey, even if you have it already installed, download it again because Charticulator changes every month. So you need to re-download it for now until they integrate it into Power BI. So we're going to create a chart. Make sure that you have all the stuff you need on data. And let's start building, shall we? So the first thing that we're going to do is to add the year period. And then you might think that to create a bar, you use a rectangle, but not quite when you want to nest things. When you want to nest things, you're using this thing that is called a data axis. And you go up from bottom to top, right? If you do the other way around, which we will have to do, you will get the values inverted, but in this case, that's not what we want. And now that we have that, we're going to drop in the actual and the target. And uh, now it is time for us to set the rectangles that we wanted. Okay, so um, we are going to Let's create first the one that has um, one step. Let's start with that one. So we have for the actual a rectangle. So you go to actuals and then you draw a rectangle. For the target, I had a line. So we're going to draw a line. And then for the variance, that means the actual minus targets, we had a rectangle. So we're going to draw that rectangle too. And it's going to be just a partial one, so just that bit. And now what you need to do is to actually color this thing so you can actually see something. Now, IBC standards do not show the data axis, so we're going to get rid of that. We are going to, for the shape one, which I think that was the actual, we're going to color it gray. Yes. And then the line, this is our target. Give the names if you can to your elements, otherwise it's going to get messy very, very quickly. And this is our variance. Now for the variance, we need we don't need a value because power uh, charticular is actually calculated just by the distance between the target and the uh, actual. So you don't need to actually have the value, but we do need to know when, you know, how to color it. So when it's a negative, it should be negative. When it's positive, it should be positive. So I do have a measure for that. So it says if variance is blank, then give it a name because you want to color it. 
otherwise a plus and a minus sign, and we need to add these to our chart. So we're going to put the color variance in there, and then go back to edit mode. And on our variance, which is that one, we are going to use the color variance as a fill. And here, we're going to have the minus, we want to have red. The blank, it means that it doesn't have any target. So if it doesn't have any target value, I actually want to have the same color. And then the plus, plus, like. This is the other way around. This is actually inverted. <laughs> so let's invert it. It's inverted that make sure that you're... Um, so, there you go. So this is the target, this is over target, and this is below target. And that's all. And then you can customize whatever you want, right? You can put these, uh, you can put grid lines, you can put anything you want. So now let's create the second chart, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put in all the fields that I need first, and then I'll tell you, it's just easier for a chart later to work. And then I will tell you what those are. So we're going to put actuals, color, color variance, or origin, and target into the chart, and your period, obviously. And then click on chart later. And we're going to do edit, as always, create chart. So let's see. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is to put everything, as always, on the data. There you go. Uh, put the year period in, uh, in the x-axis. And then you might think that you need to put a bar, like a mark bar, a rectangular here. But when you're mixing the number of, or, or when you're doing a bit more complex uh, representation with bar charts, you need to use the data axis. So you're going to go from the bottom to the top, and then you're going to put target and actuals. And we are going to now use the marks, okay? So you're going to, well, we're, let me put first, uh, a guide because this is going to require extra guides. So there you have it. So now we're going to put the mark. Maybe I should make this a little bit bigger so you see something. Hopefully, come on, chart later, please. Behave. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Um, so we are going to use the mark. We're going to go. So the back is going to be the target, the front is going to be the actuals. So the back is going to go from, just so you, you see, from there to there, like that. And then the next one is going to go, which is the actuals, from there. You're going to cover everything, but then we're going to change it because we just don't want it there, we want it exactly there, okay? Dock it back, and then you get like a mess, but it will make sure sense soon. Give good names, target. And then this is the actual. And then just some basic coloring. So we're going to have for the actual, we're going to have blackish. And then from the target, we're going to remove the color and then put a stroke like that, okay? Now, we need to make the variance chart. So for the variance chart, we're going to create some extra guides. It sits on top. Then we're going to add a new glyph. And we're going to grab the segment there. Okay, so first of all, we're going to put the year period. And then we're going to put the um, data axis the other way around, so it actually um, puts the negative values at the bottom. We're going to have the region and the variance. Now, be very careful that you grab the right stuff when you are creating the rectangle. 
So it needs to go to there, not to zero, otherwise you will get weird stuff. Um, once you have that, the plot segment, we don't want to see it visible. The data axis, we don't want to see it visible, not that one either. We want to have uh, the color. It's going to be the color variance that we had before. So now we want to have an axis also, so we need to create everything you put on the canvas, you need to have a guide for it. Remember that. So we're going to actually put the guide where this baby is. Somewhere in there. There's probably a better way to do it. but And then we're going to put a line in there. If you don't put the guide, the line is going to move around and then it won't help you. Save it go back and there we have our beautiful chart. So obviously you can um, put any type of label that you want, you just add the label and it will show, so variance, boom, and then you can have, let me show you, so this is going to be 2s, like that, and then you're going to probably gonna get rid of this stuff so you can actually put the various invisibility or actually you can put the color variance there and then you can say you don't want to see bees and that's all you will need to do this a little bit smaller so you get this 1.6 otherwise it's going to go away and obviously if you move things around you need to move things around everything in your root so, and there you have your chart. So as you can see, it looks very similar to um, these IBC charts. You can now format anything you want. I mean, it's, it's up to you. You can remove things that things with colors, remove legends, and yeah. So yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I can do another one very, very soon. Take care. Bye.